I just got back uh, from town. I was having some maintenance done on my car. And, uh, you know, my, my car had, like, almost no oil in it. <laughs> and, you know, that engine was running on grace. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but uh, the engine is fine. And I have oil in the car now and all that. But um, what I want to talk about in this brief video is uh, how, you know, If if somebody went up to you and told you they were the governor of their state, you know, uh, you know, most people would want to verify that, or you know, you know, not everybody can just go around saying they're a medical doctor. Like a lot of people would want some sort of verification for that. You know, same thing with with a lawyer. Or, you know, a police officer, um, you know, you, like if, if somebody went around saying that they're a police officer, you know, like, <laughs> and they weren't, you know, they, they'd be in, in trouble and, and people just, you know, would not accept that, uh, well, you know, once they found out that that person's like impersonating a police officer or impersonating a medical doctor, impersonating a governor, or any government official, uh, you know, imp you know, impersonating a lawyer, uh, <laughs> you know, impersonating a car mechanic, impersonating whatever. Um, and, you know, society as a, as a general whole understands that, right? Uh, but all of a sudden, like, Anybody says they're Christian and then just like people just automatically take the word for it and they don't verify. And look, the way you verify is, uh, you, f you find out, uh, you know, who they're trusting in to be right with God. Is it themselves or is it Jesus Christ? You know, do they believe the gospel? The gospel is the death, burial and resurrection of Jesus Christ. And there's a lot of people who claim to be Christians, uh, mostly because they think that's their the culture of either their their small town, or their family, or they just grew up, you know, going to some church that claimed to be Christian, and, you know, maybe their family might be, you know, you know, like five generations of Christian. Uh, but if you don't believe the gospel, you're not really a Christian. Okay, it's it's that simple. Um, you know, just just because your your mom's a Christian or your grandpa's a Christian, uh, or all your friends claim to be Christian or whatever, you know, that doesn't make you a Christian. Uh, you you have to be born again, okay, and uh, you have to believe the gospel. And you know. I, I encourage you to, uh, you know, when when somebody claims to be a Christian, don't just take their word for it, okay? Uh, test them. Now, the mistake that people make, right, is trying to test them based on their works. That's just wrong, okay, because you're not saved by works. Um, but, you, you know, find out what they actually believe, though, Okay. You know, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. And so, you know, if if they're basically telling you that, you know, that, you know, they're turning from all their sins and, you know, that they got baptized as a baby or whatever, or they quit drinking or, or and whatnot, and they, you know, you know, they, they started laughing right. Okay, well, that's all works. That's not the gospel. Uh, you know, but if, if, if they tell you something along the lines of, you know, you know, I, I was a hell-bound sinner, but then I heard the glorious gospel of Jesus Christ. He saved me. I know he died for all my sins, was buried and rose again for my justification. 
uh, you know, something along those lines, or they, you know, they talk about like the the blood of Jesus, how you know we have redemption through His blood, even the forgiveness of sins, and they talk about the cross. Then yeah, okay, um, you know that, that's good. But if they're bragging about their works and about how you know, how, you know, just constantly bragging about their works and saying that such and such, you know, they don't think their neighbors saved because their 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 neighbors said the f word once or something, you know. <laughs> You know, they're they're preaching like you got to keep the Ten Commandments. You got to quit eating pork or whatever. Like, OK, that person doesn't understand the gospel, doesn't understand why Jesus died. Um, and, you know, if you're trusting in your own works um, to be saved, uh, you're not a Christian and God doesn't think you're a Christian. He doesn't he doesn't classify you as a Christian. You know, if you if you died today, never have believing the gospel, uh, you know, one day you're going to face God. And you're going to be in that group where he said, I never knew you. All right. Depart from me. <laughs> um, but the good news is that Jesus Christ died for everybody. So, you know, it, it, it's crazy that some people uh, and unfortunately many people. They, uh, you know, they're they're so prideful, and in some cases so hateful that they can't stand the thought of somebody they don't like being saved. So when they hear the gospel themselves, they just reject it because they're, they're thinking, "Well, you man, it's free. I don't got to work that person's blah blah blah." You know, then they start just talking crap about the some person they don't like, and. You know, they boast in their own flesh, they boast in their works, and they want God to accept them based on their own works. Um, but if, if you're trying to ask God and basically demand God to accept you based on your own works, you know, you're uh, essentially telling God that what Jesus Christ did, you know, that wasn't enough and that you could do it better. And that, that's just, it's just heresy and it's blasphemous. And don't be so foolish to think that Jesus Christ does half jobs, okay? He died for all your sins according to the scriptures. He was buried and rose again on the third day. Salvation really is a free gift. Because um, it's by grace you're saved through faith, okay? It's, it's, not, it's not of yourselves. It's, you know, it's not, it's not by works of righteousness which you've done, okay? Uh, it, it, salvation is a gift of God. It's not of works, lest any man should boast. And again, it's not by works of righteousness, which you've done, okay? Uh, <laughs> you know, but by the works of the law, no flesh is going to be justified. Uh, Jesus Christ, God manifested in the flesh. He lived a perfect, sinless life, a life you and I could never live, Okay? And he died for not only our sins, but the sins of the whole world. And, you know, that's the beauty of the gospel. He died for everybody. How do I know Jesus died for you? Because he died for sinners. And, uh, you know, every human, you know, everybody's a sinner. Okay. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. For the ways of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Um, so, uh, you know, it, you know, if you're watching this video and, and you've never trusted Jesus Christ, please don't be so foolish as to thinking that, uh, you know, your works are sufficient. Okay. Um, you know, the best your works ever amounted to was having Jesus Christ crucified, okay? Because he tasted death for every man. So that's your best, okay? It's only good enough to crucify Christ. So, uh, you know, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved.